and we're going to see the world's first microwave in outer space. Seven minutes total, start, and when it's done, you have hot Chinese food. Hi, I'm Paul Benavides from the United States. On June 17th of this year, the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft took off with three astronauts headed to the very first Chinese space station. Now, if you know Chinese culture, you know that food is very important. So to keep these astronauts well fed, they developed the world's first microwave oven for space right here at the Galan's uh, Zhongshan factory. We're going to go in and check this place out. It's in Huangpu, China, Zhongshan City. Today, as a very special treat, I have come to the Galan's R&D department. This is really, really neat, and we're going to see the world's first microwave in outer space. Come on, let's check this out. Over here, you can see these are all the different components that they've had to actually engineer and mold and machine for each one. This took over 10 years of development uh, by this team to, to make all these individual little pieces like this and develop the world's first microwave in outer space. Up here you have all the different iterations of it, starting from 10 years ago, all the way to the latest one, which you see right here. And it's a very special treat. This is made of uh, an aluminum, an aerospace aluminum alloy. Super, super light, very custom made. As you can see, it's not very large. I mean, I can fit my, my hand in there, but it's pretty small. Everything on space has to do with weight and durability. And I've got it right over here check this out this right here is a working prototype of the actual microwave that they have in outer space right now on the chinese space station and as you can see here they provided me with some rice pieces now each one of these rice packets weighs about 60 grams and they can make about three packets each time so it's very simple the microwave itself looks very similar to what you might have in your home it opens from the top down and I just slide it in and the controls are rather simple it's uh, minutes press the minute once gives you three minutes and each individual will add another minute seven minutes total start and when it's done you have hot Chinese food Okay, so I have some questions for Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, how does a space flight microwave differ from that of a microwave we might have in our everyday house? Lihojin的这种的一个神行的一个工艺,家用的产品的话,它主要是用传统的这种的这种点焊钻的一种焊接工艺,拼图工艺。我们也非常注重，也非常注重航天员的一个使用的一个体验感。我们是要让它有家的这种十环电器、家的那种体验感。Hi, one of the big treats about coming to a factory where they make microwaves and other cooking utensils is they have this area. This is called the cooking center. These, these folks all day long, they cook and eat and test. They're called cooking engineers. And we have here some chicken wings. I'm gonna get to try one, okay? Here we go. Oh, they're super hot, they're good. They taste like restaurant quality, they really do. How do I get this job? I wanna be a cooking engineer, my God. <laughs> Here 
at the Galan's factory, they have over 20,000 employees. And they make everything, not just microwave ovens, they make refrigerators, all kinds of household appliances, air conditioners, dishwashers, hood vents, you name it, they probably make it right here. This is the Galan's International Boutique Workshop. This is just one of many lines throughout the factory that produce over 100,000 units per day. These particular units here are slated to go to markets such as Japan, Korea, Europe, and North America. This is, this is a very simple microwave oven. There's not many features, but I think this is one that I have in my house. Well, I think mine's black, but I think it's this exact same one. Very cool. The space microwave is just a microcosm of what is happening here in China with regards to China's space technology. The rapid growth, everything made internally, it really shows the journey that Chinese manufacturing is taking from here on the ground all the way to space.